Hey there guys, welcome back to the 50th uh, episode of the Introducing Asterix Tutorials. Hey, <laughs> we're old and grey now, we're 50. Yeah. No, we're not that old and grey just yet. Anyway, uh, we are going to start on a new topic. Uh, we're going to take a look at uh, Asterix logging. Um, so Matthias, tell us all about Asterix logging, what it is. What we use it for? I cannot tell you all about it because I don't understand everything. <laughs> <laughs> but I can understand. Uh, I can explain you some basics. Okay. Right. And uh, for now, uh, what we did in our um, older tutorials was we used Wireshark for SIP debugging yeah. and explained it a little bit mm -hmm. um, how this works. But not everything is SIP, and maybe you want to debug the dial plan you mm -hmm. made and. Um, I can show you how to do this. And for now, we always entered into the console yep. and viewed what asterisk does when we mm -hmm. change something or if we make a call or something. Yep. And now we can see how we can lock this and review this. Okay. So take it away. We dive into it. First thing we do is um, I open the asterisk console. If I do it like this, um, then the verbosity level is set to I think zero or nothing because it depends on the um, startup of the process. Mm -hmm. If you start the asterisk process itself you can pass some parameters like VVV okay. and mm -hmm. then you have the verbosity level. Right. You can change the verbosity level. We did this in the past very often with the three V's. Yep. So like this and now it's three. And what we can see then is something like, if we do a dial. I'm so busy. I'm <laughs> still busy and <laughs> you can see in Verbosity level 3, you can see the single dial plan lines which are executed mm -hmm. one after another. Okay. So the problem may be, um, this is okay for I create a dial plan yeah. because um, I can switch the verbosity level to three, mm -hmm. do my changes, type in dial plan reload, test it, and that's okay. You can see, you can get the readout, see whether everything's worked, if there's an error or anything like that. True. You can see if, the, uh, if there is an error, if you just reload the dial plan, and you can see if there is something which happens, which you did, you ne we did, don't, uh, did not expect or something like mm -hmm. this. Yeah. That's okay. Now there are two reasons uh, two reasons when this is not okay. This is, on the one hand, if you have heavy load on the system, mm -hmm. then I wish you fun <laughs> <laughs> to find out um, which lines are for you and which lines are from other calls. Right, okay. Um, this is the one thing. And the second thing is, maybe you have some users, they say, every time when I do ba ba ba, then this happens. Mm -hmm. So, to debug something which was in the past. Yeah. So. Difficult if you don't want to look all the time on yeah. uh, the screen. It's a basically it's not really great for a productive live debugging mechanism. No, gotcha. no. Mm -hmm. if you're not number five, uh, do you know the film number five? I don't know which is the which is the English. Um, there is a, a robot which comes alive and can read really really fast. You're too young, maybe. <laughs> Right, no, I don't know this film, but I, I'm um, sure we can have it on film night or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah we <laughs> mentioned it in another tutorial. So if you cannot read as fast as a robot, you have no chance right, gotcha. to read what's going on. Um, let's see what you can do. Okay. So if this is not an option, you can go out of here. And then there is a configuration file, which is etc asterisk logger.conf. You can see, you can change the date format, you can change, I don't know, stuff. And now we go down to the important part. Here are the log files. So um, you can configure um, different yeah, debugging levels, debug notice, warning, error, verbose, DTMF, fact, security, and there are more and more and more. So mm -hmm. topics you want yep. to lock. Okay. And uh, the next thing you can do is you can define a file name where you want to write it uh, into. And there is a special file name which is called console, which is basically your console, which you log in if you use asterisk minus um, uh -huh. R. 
Okay. So this is the console. So two ways, log off to a file mm -hmm. and log to the console. Okay. Next, um, we will see how this is configured per default. Lots of text, you can read this if you want to. And here you have two entries. Messages. This is a file, so under var log uh, asterisk, there is a messages file, and we put in there notice, warning, and arrows. And onto the console, we put notice, warning, and okay. arrows, so okay. the same. Um, we can add maybe verbose here to the console level, mm -hmm. but on console level, you switch the verbosity with the VVV switches, yep. or with the V switch and repeat it as often as which verbosity level you want to reach. Okay. So three Vs for verbosity mm -hmm. three. Um, so I think it's a good idea to um, configure it in the startup file of asterisk mm -hmm. with default um, verbosity you like, yep. zero or three if you want to log into uh, the asterisk console and you want to see the debug or um, the dial plan stuff every time which right. is going on, then mm -hmm. your default level should be VVV and then you can change it in VTC mm -hmm. init D asterisk startup file. Okay. Or each time you log into the console, you Just can add it. the, the Vs uh, to as much you like. Oh. Um, but for the file, you can do it like the following. You can say I want it more verbose. If you just type in verbose, then um, it has the same verbosity like the root console. So the first uh -huh. console you started. Yeah. So if there is the verbosity of zero, then it's zero again. Which is not very so, helpful. Yes. <laughs> so you have to um, provide the verbosity level okay. here. You can just edit three. I think this is a good choice because you can see the dial plan then and that's important in many debug scenarios. And that's it. You could add more and more details. You could make a new file, which is called maybe details and put in the verbosity there. Um, but you, that, that's enough. You can basically modify it to match whatever your requirements may be. Right. So for now, we have a look into the file, var log asterisk messages. It's already there. Here you can see some ver verbose logging, but this was a test we did mm -hmm. because we prepare every single video. Yes, of course. Hours and yeah. hours. Yeah, we sp diligently prepare every video. Yes. <laughs> um, but now, um, if you do it like this, and if I make a call, I'm so busy and you don't. You can see nothing in there. This is because of the verbose level. Yeah. What we have to do to enable it, we changed it already in the file. But we did not enable it, as all the time you have to reload it in asterisk. So Just there like is the a dial plan, all the yes. set pairs, you have to reload them all, all the time. Correct. So you're learning fast. <laughs> it's only taken me 50 episodes to get to this. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Sad, <laughs> but true. Um, logger reload. Now we reload the config file, and we can also say logger g show channels. Then you can see it added the verbose to the file. the file, but sadly you cannot see the verbosity level here, but trust me, it's three now. <laughs> we'll take your word for it. Yeah. Again, we do it like this. Now I do a dial. I'm so busy and you don't... And now you can see that this information is logged um, into the file. And the good thing is um, that you can search in the file later on. So if you don't, oh. If you don't uh, go in there with a tail, but maybe with less, um, then you can search for maybe um, the call ID or, um, yeah, you can see C0002. Or you can search for it. Um, you can you can jump to a specific time, something That's like quite this. Useful. And the most common scenario is um, that somebody says, "I had a problem with the telephony system." Mm -hmm. and then he knows the time, and then you can go there, dive mm -hmm. into it, and repair it or do something like this. That's not that's, that's, that's pretty useful. And um, how far back can this go? Forever? Or do you um, no, there is a log rotation which is configured. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, you can change the behavior of the lock rotation. So normally it rotates the file okay. so, uh, a few times and then it rotates um, some when it deletes okay. the file. Um, but you can change the behavior as you like. Also For best practice, what would your recommendation be? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> um, the first thing is I would not enable the verbose locking for default forever because okay. it consumes a lot of um, hard disk. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, if you have a heavy traffic system, then for sure it's not a good idea. Okay. But if you are, if you started your asterisk service or you introduced it new to the company, mm -hmm. then maybe it's useful um, to leave it like this. Until you've ironed out all the little bugs and yeah. flaws and everything, and then you can set it back and say, okay, okay, yes. we've got no more particular massive problems, we can reset it now. Yes, now. like okay. this. Uh, and, um, but if you um, configure the log rotation, Mm -hmm. the right way, then you can leave it as is. Oh. You can have a look at all this. Um, just say logger, um, rotate, and then it does now a log rotation. Uh -huh. So what it does, var log asterisk, you can see now a message dot zero and a qlog.0, qlog is just for queues, yep. mm -hmm. um, some um, software components like qmetrics are using mm -hmm. this for um, statistics for queues. So call center and, and yes. analysis software and so on and so on. And here you can see your messages and here you can see it rotated the mm -hmm. messages to zero and the qlog also to okay. zero. So you can uh, configure this. Um, and then you can introduce the log rotation Fair enough. as you want. Cool. So that was pretty much uh, the, the quick introduction guide to uh, asterisk logging yes. uh, and cool data records and blah, blah, blah. There's more to it than that, obviously. Um, but what are we going to do next time? That's always a good question. <laughs> I ask you every time, and last time I got you with it, I don't know. So what are we going to do? Uh, I don't know it again. <laughs> so let's see what we will do. Okay, fair enough. If you've got any good ideas, just let us know in the comments. And yes. um, yeah, if it yeah, matches our sort of little time scale uh, yeah. schedule that we have in our heads, then we'll get onto it. Thanks very much for watching. Until then, goodbye. See you.